Guys, how's today been so far? You brought the weather from LA. Uh, it's not quite as warm, but you brought some sunshine with you. I'm grateful for that. We, we, we do that everywhere we go. Everywhere. It's really strange. Okay. So if you come back in winter, can we expect more sunshine? Yeah, definitely. Thank you for that. And what's your impression so far? Is Leeds somewhere you've been before? Well, we just got here about 10 minutes ago, so we're still <laughs> figuring out what the deal is. But yeah, it's, it's everything I thought it would be within the first 10 minutes. Okay, so, so far, trees and tents and that kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, I was expecting a lot of tents. Okay. Yeah. And how does this fit in with your schedule? You're playing at Reading as well, but I know that as soon as you finish here, you're going straight off, aren't you? Yeah, we got to go to Paris to play Rock and Sen. It's that, like, that trinity, um, those three shows that are, that are pretty amazing, but... We got, we got Paris stuck right in the middle. Um, it's all good. They're, they're all great festivals. Yeah, they're the worst good. places that you could be going. It's true. And have you been to Reading before? Is that your first time at that festival as well? No. <laughs> no. We have not been to Reading before. No. We have been to Reading before. <laughs> the answer was no, it's not our it's first not time. It's not first time. Um, no, we've been there, I think, twice. Maybe once. I feel like I've been there every year for the last 10 years. Um, it's kind of like the hometown festival of the UK so um, but Leeds is kind of I kind of like Leeds too because it's it's kind of like this the younger brother it's the smaller festival but it's a little bit tighter and 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 I wouldn't say better run but just like you can't, you can't say that that's fine we, we're from made in Leeds so you can say Leeds is better Leeds is so much better we, we, we've always liked you, Michael. And how do festivals compare to, you know, gigs uh, that, that you do in L.A.? I know you're going back to L.A. later in the year to do one there. How do they compare when, you know, there's an audience that may not have seen you before? It's, I mean, we do, we support a lot of bands on yeah. tours. Um, we're fortunate enough to, to get taken out. And it, it's, it's, uh, it's like an audition. I mean, you're, you, you know, hopefully your fans are there too, but you're playing to, you're trying to win over a bunch of people that have never heard you. And it's kind of like a blind date too. You know? And does that put a bit more pressure on you, or do you kind of relish the challenge of turning people into fans? I think uh, actually it's less pressure when they don't know you, and there's a lot of them. Okay. So it's like going on a blind date with a thousand pe blind people. Um, you know. That sounds like a lot of pressure. You're saying it like that's better, but I think that'd be pretty scary. It's just fun, and there's like a, a distance created between the crowd and the and the the performer that is 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 good and bad. With with our own shows, it's always very very intense for us to we we, we brood and think about it for weeks and months in advance. And with this, it's just kind of like one after the next, and it's really fun to kind of like twist things a little bit every night. And I know from uh, your video, video Vertigo, you had um, a few sort of scantily clad ladies there. Is that something you like to replicate in your, your live shows or is that just stereotypically for the video? Yeah, we bring about 12 women everywhere we yeah. go. Um, yeah, just to, yeah, just to replicate the video <laughs> yeah, every day. It's essential, clearly. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And so what's coming up for you after this, after Paris, after Reading, where can people see you next? On MySpace. Um, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Uh, where, where were they going to see us this? Uh, Aus well, Australia. Um, yeah, we're always in LA. We live in LA. So just hit us up on minimansionsmusic at gmail.com. Okay. I mean, you're, you're a smaller girl, so it's like I feel like we have to talk <laughs> yeah. down to the mic. <laughs> Thank you for that. I've already had my outfit described by my colleague no, as, as but, rubbish but, goth. No, so. no, it's great. It's great. But I, just, I just feel like we're talking we're talking down to the ground Thank like this. You. I really I love when people do that. It's really kind of you. Yeah, no problem. I'll just go on my, I'll just go on my tiptoes for a while. Yeah. I feel but you as long as we still hold, yeah, just as long as we can still talk towards the ground. <laughs> Thank you for that. You've completely put me off my trail of thought now. So coming up next, uh, you've had an album released a few months ago. Is it just more of sort of releasing songs from that? How do how does it sort of compare when you've just released an album? Is that quite a fun time sharing new music, or do you feel more pressure because people don't necessarily know the songs as well? Ooh, um, well, yeah. It's well, it's weird because we. I mean, this record's been done since last July, so for we, you, it doesn't feel new as well. If yeah, it feels like. Yeah, it, feel, it feels a year old, which it is. Um, so it's now we're just so comfortable, and like, and, but I think we're looking forward to to making new music at the end of this year and, and go back home and, and start recording again, and um, hopefully come back next year over here with some new stuff. 